You guys kind of look like you're into the controversial shit. Is that true? Can we get a round, by a round of applause? You guys like offensive humor? Okay. okay. Well, uh, all right. I'm gonna try some 9/11 jokes. So, uh, you know, brace <laughs> for impact. <laughs> Hey, that, that was the first one, uh, and uh, I want to be historically accurate, so I'm going to wait about 20 minutes before I hit you guys for the second one. Oh, no. Oh, God, that was, yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I, I feel like, like, I feel like, uh, yeah, it was too soon. It was way too soon. I'm not going to dispute that at all. I, I feel like Never Forget is a good slogan for 9-11, but it's a better one for the Alzheimer's Foundation. <laughs> Seems, seems more compatible. Uh, I can't believe I just said that into a microphone. That's, uh, I, I was talking to a friend the other day about 9-11, you know, as, as one does, and uh, he, he, said, he said to me, um, you know, can you imagine how bad it would have been if the fourth plane would have hit its target? I was like, honestly, I don't know if it would have been that much worse. You know, I mean, because for, for one, the plane was already going to crash. And uh, second of all, the fourth target was the White House, and the only person who was still there was Dick Cheney. So really, how much more? <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, these people acting like, like they like Dick Cheney, that's ridiculous. Uh, like, like, I mean, I guess we would have had to pretend for a couple days just to be nice, you know? Like, <laughs> like oh no, Dick Cheney also died. What a bummer! Would have had to. Oh man. For my final 9 11 joke, I requested a second microphone stand and two paper airplanes, but evidently Wiley's frowns upon crowd comedy. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's where we'll stop, because that was uh, that did not go well. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I just had to try those out. I don't know. I I feel like I I know how to prevent the next 9 11 though. That's that's the redemption here. I, I'm going to hell for all those jokes I just made, but I feel like I have the solution to how we can prevent the next one. And what we got to do is, uh, you know, if you see someone who's not a terrorist, you know, make sure to give them a high five. Uh, if you happen to meet someone who is a terrorist, too slow, and then, uh, you know, over time, <laughs> positive reinforcement. Uh, uh, that's just my, that's just my theory. How, uh, like, how do you guys run more than you ever have? Like, what the fuck is this guy? Like? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.